Today I'm gonna show you 50 things that you might not know about Valorant. Some of these facts are useless, but some of these things you could use in game. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and one day we might grow bigger than funny and cute kitten cat. With your help, maybe. And now let's talk about the first fact. Apparently, if you are lagging a lot in Valorant and Sofa shoots a dart, it will keep bouncing. That's pretty cool, but I feel bad that you have to play with this lag, Asuka. As most of us know, it's possible to double uprank in Valorant. But what's the most amount of RR you could get from a single game without a double uprank? Well, the answer is at least plus 30 because Netium got that. Congrats. But according to What If Gaming, you could get all the way up to 50 RR. That's, uh, that's a lot. And did you know that for a draw, you could get at least plus 12 RR because this happened to Rylak. But maybe you could get even more. So let me know in the comments if this happened to you. As we all know, this part on Fracture is called Arcade. And it's because there's a fun arcade over here. We got old school arcade machines, a couch, a big screen. It looks pretty cozy. But did you know that when Fracture just got released, this was the arcade. I don't think I would be having fun over here. Now a cool fact about the voice lines of Harbor. Harbor is voiced by Sunil Malhotra. And there was a challenge because at this time the world was closed. You know because there was some sort of insect all over the world. Y you know what I mean in 2021. So instead of in a big studio the Harbor voice lines were actually recorded inside a closet. Pretty cool. As some of you might have noticed in the login screen you see an Xbox icon. And if you connect your Xbox account to your Riot Games account you get a free Pocket Sage buddy. I love free stuff. Now let's talk about the Spectrum skin set. Every colorway of the Spectrum skins is kinda the same. Except for the black one. This version has a sad smiley face on it. Oh no! Luckily, when you hop into the game and you inspect the skin, you also see a happy smiley face on the other side. But I quite understand why my Spectrum skin is not very happy when I use it. Oh, Sage is low. One hit Sage. On Blitz you could find a lot of stats and these ones got me interested. The average win percentage on the attacker side on Pearl and Haven are way higher than the defender side. So we can conclude that Pearl and Haven are attacker sided maps. While on the other hand, as you can see, Ascent and Bind are defender sided maps. And Breeze and Fracture are balanced. I think that's because nobody knows how to play these maps on either side. Now let's go to Breeze. On Breeze there's a sky on which you can stand and walk. But what happens if you use a Yodo clone over here? Well, it will just walk away. But the funny thing is that when you use your right click, your clone will go to the ground. And about the sky, your cypher trap will also clip to it on some places. I know, it's uh, pretty strange. Now let's talk about ranks. Who is the highest ranked in competitive Valorant? Asuna from 100 Ts was the first one to reach 1000 RR in April 2021. Since then, a lot of other players also reached over the 1000 mark. And at the time of this recording, Never or Never God is number one with a rating of 1238. And to be honest, I don't know who this guy is. Is he in a professional team? Let me know in the comments down below. I also couldn't find it on internet. Maybe it's a smurf of a professional professional player or something. Did you know that the skybird can block the race grenade? <laughs> That's pretty unlucky, Aninji. During the games in Valorant, every agent is the same length. But did you know that in reality, there is a small difference? Here's the true skill, posted by David Nottingham, the creative director of Valorant. In other games like Overwatch 2, there is a length difference, but in Valorant there isn't one, and that's all because of balance issues. You don't want to give an agent an unfair advantage. But maybe, in the future, there will be an ability that could make you smaller. Now some facts about the bots. Did you know that when you kill a bot, instead of blood, small gears will appear? Pause. Do you see that? Pretty cool. Sadly, KO doesn't have this. In the practice range, if you let the bot shoot long enough, eventually it will run out of ammo. I know, I know, pretty useless, but also pretty cool. I didn't know this was a thing. Something that is useful though is this trick combined. When you go through the teleporter, of course you will face the exit. But sometimes you know that the enemy is chilling in it, and most of the time they are chilling on the back. Well, did you know that when you go through the teleporter backwards, you will face the back of the teleporter? Easy peasy kills for you. Now it's time to celebrate! Because Valorant won the award of best esport game of the year. No, 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 Counter Strike, not this time. Did you ever notice that Chamber has a watch and it's always 2 o'clock? Doesn't matter on which map he is, which time it is. Chamber, I think you should fix your watch. Big respect to Woody because he calculated the max amount of kills you could get in a comp game. It's a big calculation but the end result is 175 kills without overtime. And with overtime you could get an infinitive amount of kills. Did you know that when race kills practice range bots with a boom bot, she has some funny voice lines. Ha! <laughs> I didn't expect that. That's one and here's the other one. Did it move? While we're on the practice range, did you ever notice that there's an alarm bot over here? And the cool thing is that if you place another alarm bot down, it will fall in love. Yay, he made a friend. And about falling in love, it looks like Killjoy and Ray see each other. This picture is not fan art, but posted by the official Valorant account. This also explains some of the more spicy voice lines. Drive some crazy, Ray. 
good at that. Good for them. And while we're talking about Killjoy, a bit after she got released, she actually got her own TikTok channel. I thought it was some sort of short publicity stunt, but apparently she still uploads. More than 300,000 followers, that's actually insane. Now, cool fact about the spray. If you spray a door and you open the door, of course it will disappear. But when it closes, it comes back again. This mechanic looks especially funny on the doors on Ascent and Breeze. It slowly disappears and then it slowly appears again. I'm not a game developer, but this does mean that there's an invisible wall even though the door is open, right? Anyway, let's talk about this ball on Breeze. Did you ever notice that this is the same ball as in the Chrono Void bundle? Look, it's right there in the middle of the Phantom. Also, is there a lore behind the statue? It looks like you want to throw this ball inside the pit. Let me know in the comments. And while we're on this map, does anyone know how Icy Butterfly Queen managed to do this? He made like a red carpet, only then a bit different. Anyway, do you want to get your year flashback? It will look something like this. It's not mine though, because last year I sadly didn't receive one. But I now know why. If you go to account.writegames.com, go to communication preferences, and then you see this box over here. Check it. When you do this before the 26th of December, you will get the cool flashback and you can brag to your friends. And probably a lot of other mails, but you could always uncheck the box. And while we're here, this is also the place where you could change your in-game name and log out on all devices for if you forgot to log out on your school computer or your friend's computer, for example. Did you know that the KO knife could get stuck on the race boom bot? Also mid-air. <laughs> Cool. Does anyone know what happened in this clip of Dragon? It looks like a matte black knife, but it's something else. Whatever it is, I want it, my friends. It looks so cool. About glitches in game, look at this holy spot I found during the Sage to Ascendant series. I think it's because the KO knife just exploded at the end of the half. In the video clip Rise, made for League of Legends Worlds 2018, you can find this character. Do you see it too? Do he looks like someone? Exactly. Maybe Omen is inspired by this character. Or the other way around, of course. According to Blitz, the agent with the highest amount of win rate is Phoenix at this moment moment. It's not what I expected, but it kinda makes sense. Phoenix doesn't get played a lot, so when he get played, he probably gets played by players who really know the agent. So on average, they win more than someone who plays Chamber ranked first time. Now let's talk about the Valorant Spotify playlist. As some of you might know, every agent has his own music playlist. But Harbour doesn't have one. Did they forgot it, or doesn't he like music? About music, did you know that the Spectrum skin has a different sound if you make a Hexa kill? This sound is for 5 kills, and this is for 6 kills. Very cool if you manage to do this in a real game. If you ever get lost on Pearl, there are two nice signs that tell you where the sides are. A is left, B is right. Thank you, signs. When you're playing Neon and you want to flash yourself, you could use your ult and then shoot at the metal object. When you do this, this glitchy thing will happen and eventually it will just be one bright sun. Fun thing to do if it's the end of the round and you're a bit bored. Did you know that on the Valorant site you could actually buy official merchandise? I don't know why, but I never knew you could buy merch. It doesn't get promoted in game. But the fun thing is that some of these items like t-shirts, mouse mats and caps are are less expensive than some skins in the game. So maybe consider buying some merch instead of skins. Or of course the Lowlander plushie one more week and it's gone. While we're talking about skins, as we know 50% of the profits of the championship skins goes to the teams participating in the tournament. In 2021 this was 7.5 million dollars and in 2020 this year it was 16 million dollars. I'm wondering how much it will be next year. This is how you're supposed to play Valorant. I couldn't find who sent this clip in, sorry for that but respect the time and dedication my friend. And this is it, thank everybody for helping with this video if you enjoyed this fit you could click on the video on the left to go to last episode thank you for watching bye bye